News alert on a very busy news day. The Obama administration making good on its vow to retaliate against Russia for hacking, issuing a set of nine different sanctions. The Treasury Secretary has now designated two Russian individuals for using cyber enabled means. 35 Russian operatives have now been ordered to leave the United States. Two diplomatic compounds related to Russian intelligence gathering, we are told, are now being closed. One is in Maryland and one is in New York. They'll be shuttered at noon tomorrow. The Department of Homeland Security and the FBI releasing declassified technology information on Russian civilian and military intelligence. That's the latest news that we're getting in on this matter. Let's talk with Guy Benson. He's a political editor of townhall.com and a Fox News contributor. And Brad Bauer is a Democratic strategist and a partner at the Pastorum Group. He's the former executive director of the Congressional Progressive Caucus. Uh, let's start with you, Brad. Uh, what do you think about this idea that the administration is now issuing these sanctions against the Russians? We knew that this might happen, but is it appropriate for them to do it just three months or three weeks before Donald Trump comes into office? Absolutely, it's appropriate. And this is a strong response. And I want to thank President Obama and the administration for taking these necessary steps. We've been saying all along that Russia has attempted to influence the American people, have attempted to manipulate us, and this, is, this goes well beyond the uh, stated and, and normal ways in which uh, intelligence is conducted around uh, the world. Right. So I do believe it's appropriate. All right, so Guy, uh, you know, it sounds like a big deal, expelling 35 diplomats and closing down two of these residential compounds, which, by the way, is kind of where these folks just go on the weekend if they want a cushy place to lay their head or something. But uh, are, are they handcuffing the next administration? Is the point to handcuff the Donald Trump administration into having sort of a tougher relationship with Russia from the get-go? I don't necessarily think so. I believe it's appropriate for the current president to take action. The Russians did not hack the election, but they did try to influence it, according to our intelligence agencies. That's not acceptable. No American should countenance that. And so the administration is doing something, although I'm not really sure that this would be a very strong response. Yes, it's a big move publicly. There's some PR here. But I just saw our colleague here at Fox News, Julie Roginski, who, of course, is a liberal Democrat. She called this move by the administration weak and said it didn't go after Putin or his inner circle. So sort of a slap on the wrist. I guess better than nothing, but not exactly tough, tough stuff. Okay. So again, we're just getting in this information. So it may be incomplete at this time. I want to caution folks right now. But one of the things that we had heard about was the potential that the U.S. could cyber attack Russia or do something stronger, such as go at Vladimir Putin and his finances. Uh, Brad, what do you think about that idea? Should we have done something stronger instead? Well, let's be clear that this, these measures are being done in concert with two years of sanctions that we've already imposed on Russia, which but have that, affected But that certainly Putin. did not stop them from trying to interfere with our election. That's absolutely correct. It did not stop them, but it is hurting them, and it is hurting Putin, and that's one of the reasons why he did this. So given the fact that this is being done in concert with that, I think it's fair to say that this is, in fact, an escalation. And yes, if you ask me, I do believe that there is room to do more and that we should be doing more.